The trapezoid is a really fun formula to discover because there are a number of ways to do it. And it's not very, like the, the formula itself is not very intuitive. Like when we look at adding two bases together and we've got the half and the height and there's a lot going on there. But one of the ways is called doubling. And basically what it means is to take, um, as it says, take our trapezoid, rotate it about G and land it kind of on its backside. So um, if I was to rotate this, let me just finish it and you'll kind of see the end result here when I'm done. But if I was to take our trapezoid that uh, is given to us, flip it on its back, I get this shape. Now this shape is one you should recognize. It's a parallelogram, isn't it? Do you take? Can you see that? The opposite sides are parallel and there it is. Nice big parallelogram. Now you know the area of a parallelogram, that's its base times its height. Now in this case, the base is B1 and B2. Can you see that we've added uh, those two items together to get base the base? And uh, the height is just H, and so uh, that would be the area. This would be the area of this parallelogram. But you and I don't want the area of the parallelogram. We want the area of the original trapezoid, this one right here. And so what we need to do is we need to subtract, or not subtract, what am I saying? Divide by 2. And so if I do divide by 2, I obtain just the area of the original trapezoid, which is the one we are interested in. Isn't that cool? So what new shape do they form together? Of course, is a parallelogram in review here. What is the base? Well, it's B1 and B2, and its height is the original base. And the reason where the one half comes from is that we only want half of a parallelogram's area. Isn't that the coolest?